we are going to discuss now how to install Postgres on Windows. Okay, first of all, you can see Google it where you can able to find out that link Postgres download for Windows. Okay, you got it. Now, here you can see the installer which version you want. Okay, platform supported, whatever you want to go with, which version you want to support. You can see this and download the installer for EDB. Okay, let me click on this. But I don't want these things. Let me click on this. Which version I want to go? We'll go with 12. Okay, 12 version we are going to see here. Okay, 200 MB. It will take some time. Okay, fine. It is downloaded here. Okay, uh, let me open that. Let it down. It will take some time to pop up. Yeah, it came. <coughs> See, you can see here, go for where you are going to install, C drive, I am going to install it. If you want to change, you can change it, but I am okay for C drive. Here you can see, whatever, this is a Postgres server and this is a admin for GUI with the stack builder and command line tools. In reality, if you want to work out and command line, also we can use it. this. It's not required, but I, okay, <clears throat> this is for regarding applications and all those things. Okay, I will uncheck. This is the data directory. You can see the data, whatever you have. If you want to make a note also, you can make it in a note. In a, in a notepad, you can make a note. Later, we can see what are the files. Right? Okay. Let me go and install it. Password for Postgres. What we can give? I'm giving just post123. Post123. I have given. Super user is Postgres. Port number, default port number for Postgres is 5432. Uh, local default location, whatever language related cluster, whatever the you can give based on your these things. See, this is the whatever you have. This is the output. You can copy this one also. Just later. This is for just for your understanding purpose. This is the service. Which operating system in real time you can add your Windows account? Uh, for example, uh, you can add your service account. Fine, right, next. It's almost uh, started installation. It will take some time. It's almost completed. Just Wait for some time. Okay. It's very near. Yes, it is done. Finish. Okay, this is the server. You can see in next video I'll show you in detail what are the things we can do in post piece, manual method, command line and uh, we can copy this admin tool we can see that okay. it's full connected you can give whatever you want to give the password just type give post one two three only you can add number of database servers here Password what we have given, right? Post one two three, right? Okay. See, 
okay done later session i'll show you some other topic on